Julian Azar joins us here on the phone. Julian, we appreciate it, and I uh, understand you graduated in December. How does it feel to be graduated life? What's going on right now with you? Uh, it feels pretty good. It's a little weird still. You know, it hasn't hit me completely yet, but um, you know, right now, I'm just being busy with just you know, training and focusing you know, on football right now. Yeah, let's get into it right now, Julian. And what kind of updates can you provide for us as far as your pursuit goes for the NFL as of right now? Um, as of right now, um, I, uh, I have uh, a regional combine in Baltimore, February 28th, um, that I'm training for, and that's the first thing that's coming up. Um, I'm working on trying to get into uh, Penn State Fred as um, their defensive line coach and uh, Sean Spencer, he's supposed to be calling me about that here here shortly in the next few days. Um, other than that, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, I've you know, heard anywhere from the you know, outside linebacker, defensive end. And then as of yesterday, I so, uh, one scout for the Seattle Seahawks texted me and uh, asked me if I'd be interested in even working out as a fullback for them. So, uh, pretty busy with you know, all the different types of positions I can possibly play. Well, that's a pretty good team uh, to, have, to have the Seattle Seahawks right there as the uh, two-time NFC champion. Uh, but uh, and when you get when you get ready for this thing in Baltimore coming up in a couple of weeks, Julian, uh, what kind of talent are you going to be facing? Is it going to be mostly D2, D3 products, some D1, some FCS? Uh, who are you going to be going up against? Uh, it, it, it could be anyone. I mean, it's, uh, it'll be anyone from D1 to D3. I mean, it's going to be a lot of the guys who you know, just missed, missed the cut you know, for the National Combine. You know, I was hoping to get into that. You know, so I was on the watch list for that. But, you know, I, I just, you know, missed the touch for that. So, there's going to be a lot of guys probably in my, like, similar situation. Yeah, and then again, that regional combine, like Julian said, February 28th in Owens Mills, Maryland, and uh, hopefully a chance for the super regional combine, which I believe they're holding in Arizona. Um, so I, I assume the answer is going to be yes to this, Julian, but I have to ask you anyway. I assume that you're open to any and all position changes that anyone wants you to, to do it. If it's going to be defensive and outside linebacker, making a conversion to fullback, I assume you're going to be open to, to any chance that you can get. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm willing to play. I mean, that's why I told that scout yesterday. I mean, I'm willing to play, do whatever, you know. To, you know, help the team or, you know, just get myself into the NFL. I mean, I'll do whatever it takes. Now let's go. Let's go to fullback for a little bit. This is I find this, this is pretty interesting, Julie, because I know you really haven't done a whole lot of uh, offensive side of things in your, in your career. Um, talk about what kind of change that might be for you, and uh, how, how do you approach uh, trying to train for that position, even though you may not end up being in, uh, in that position, competing for that position later on. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it'll be different, that's for sure. I mean, I'm kind of you know, caught off guard and surprised by the you know, text I received, but. Um, it's just going to be a matter of, I mean, just like they're, like the drills that, you know, they have like fullbacks and stuff too for, for that. I mean, it's just going to be a lot of like, a lot more like footwork and then a lot of like catching out of the backfield. So I'm just going to have to, you know, add that into my training right now. You know, just try to get as comfortable as I can be, you know, before then, you know, you know, catching and, you know, catching and running and everything like that. You know, it's just, I mean, I, I used to, I mean, I, I ran the ball in high school, but, I mean, it has been my like top year since I've played the offensive side, so it's just going to be mad at getting back into things. Right, right. Now, let's instead of, of projecting here, let's backtrack for a second and talk about what you've done the last month or so. You were down um, in Florida for, for the bowl game. You were MVP for that, so first of all, congratulations, and just take us through what that experience was like. Uh, thank you, and, uh, I mean, it was an awesome experience, you know, being out there with, you know, a bunch of talented players. Uh, you know, some of the coaching down there and everything. I mean, I, I definitely learned a lot, you know, playing in front of scouts and, you know, talking to a bunch of scouts, you know, after practice, and, you know, and I had to head down and everything. It was, it was just an awesome experience to be down there. Now, Julian, uh, as we get ready for uh, for your upcoming uh, shot here in Baltimore, what can you tell us about your other two teammates that were down with you, Matt Chewy and Mike Dietrich? What was that? Well, what else can you tell us about uh, with with Matt Chewy, and Mike Dietrich? I understand that they were down with you at the uh, at the bowl game as well in Miami. Uh, yeah, yeah, they both were. Um, um, you know, they both played pretty well. I thought down there. You know, Mike he had uh, three or so catches. I believe he was actually the leader receiver of our uh, our team. Uh, and then uh, Chewy had a 
couple of tackles and, you know, got a bunch of playing time and everything. And, you know, they, I think they both performed, you know, really well down there. And, you know, I think they showed that, you know, they can play with that level of talent. Uh, just two quick questions from me, uh, Julian. Uh, just one, uh, have you signed with an agency yet? And uh, two, and this is kind of a, a bigger question, uh, has it really hit you yet that you could be playing in the NFL a couple months from now and be in a training camp somewhere and, and, and be on a roster in just a few months? Has that really sunk in and hit you yet? Um, yeah, I have signed with an, uh, an agent. His name is Casey Muir with uh, Tier 1 Sports Management. Um, and then, uh, regarding your other question, uh, I mean, I, it, it is, it is like tough to think about because like, you know, I, you know, it's like every day I'm just training and, you know, doing everything I can get already, but, you know, I think it's like eventually, it's like just now starting to hit me, you know, that like, you know, I have this opportunity and, you know, there's a, you know, pretty good chance I, I'll be in a you know, training camp, you know, come this, you know, summer. So, like, I mean, it is, it's a surreal feeling. I mean, I can't even put it into words. Now, Julian, looking at you as a potential outside linebacker, um, what have you continued to work on as far as uh, pass protection is concerned, and how confident are you that you can be able to do that in the on the NFL level? Um, I've just been working a lot more on my, uh, my like, uh, my hips and my hip mobility and everything, staying low and, you know, the, you know, dropping into coverage and, you know, um, I'm, I've always been pretty comfortable with my past uh, coverage ability, and you know now that I'm really, really focusing on it, and you know with added into my training and everything like that, I, I mean I have no doubt that I, you know, I can do it at the next level. Now, for someone who might not have seen you as much as we have, um, you know, this this past year, your senior year at Clary and Julian, um, what was it? I mean, how much did you drop into coverage? Um, how much were you doing there that you're kind of working on now? And how much did that season help you, in, in a sense, to prepare you um, for what you're being asked to do now? Um, I mean, I, even my first two years before, I even played a little bit of linebacker my uh, junior and senior year. You know, I talked into the uh, – Coverage on like you know draws you know from the defensive end position and I you know tagged up the tight end and you know I uh, played man to man and pass on on uh, on him and and then uh, my junior and senior year I mean I dropped into coverage you know pretty good pretty good bit you know each game you know trying to push up from you know keep me from you know rushing and then drop me into coverage and everything like that you know. Um, um, it, I mean, it definitely helped me a ton. I mean, I it's just getting that real life experience in, in games and everything. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, I, I don't, you know, I, I feel just as comfortable pass rushing as I do talk to the coverage now. Julian, as you continue to talk to different NFL scouts, um, y- your ability to play special teams really well, um, how, how much has that gotten out to the NFL scouts and how much have you been asked about that? I, I mean, just about every scout I've talked to has, like, commented on that or, you know, has asked me about, you know, special teams. And, you know, I've always, you know, I always tell them, you know, like, that's, you know, I've done that, you know, my four years of playing. i been pretty successful at it. You know, I love doing it. Each one of them pretty much tells me, you know, that would be my, like, taking it to the NFL. I mean, if I'm willing to play special teams to start, you know, then that, that, that's, that's really going to, you know, propel me to the next level. Just uh, two more questions, Julian, and then we'll let you go. I know this is a question that you're, you've probably gotten a lot. You'll get a lot throughout the process, and it's kind of a it's kind of a cheesy question, but I'll throw it at you anyway. Is there a player that you really kind of model your game after, someone that you think that, that you r- relate to well uh, that's playing in the NFL right now? Uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of – there's not like certain one uh, player. I mean, the player that, you know, I've always said before and like – you know, I've watched and, you know, looked at things that is, is Vaughn Miller of the Broncos just because he does a lot of the linebacker the end type, uh, you know, that type of position. Um, but I also, like, I love watching, you know, J.J. Watt, you know, see how he plays, how relentless he is, you know, all game. You know, uh, James Harrison, like, I mean, I, I want, there's a lot of guys, like, I like to watch, you know, and see, you know, what they do and try to pick up on things and, uh, you know, see how see how things work for them. And, I mean, this is a, I, I, I like watching a lot of different guys. Of course, those are all pretty good NFL players, Julian, to, to bother yourself afterwards. Our last question that we have for you, Julian, you know, just looking at the PSAC 
uh, as far as, you know, in, in bringing in NFL players, you know, the most notable comes out is Andre Reid, who was just elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame last year. You have John Kuhn, the Shippensburg products, playing in, uh, in Green Bay. Um, so how much confidence does that give that you, you come from, from a, the, the PSAC conference that, you know, it's, it's got a good name out there for itself as far as, as, far as uh, producing a lot of great players in the league? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I I consider the Pac, you know, one of the toughest in the country, if not the toughest, you know, from top to bottom of talent. And then, you know, you look at how many guys the NFL, or the Pac has put in the NFL. I mean, there's a ton. You know, it has to be one of the top conferences. And, you know, seeing those guys that you know who not only made it to the NFL but make a name for themselves, and you know, or you know, Pro Bowl type players. I mean, look at uh, Brent Brown. You know, in the Pro Bowl, I and mean, he killed it. And he, you know, he's out of shit to start. I mean, you see guys like that. And it's just, I mean, it's it's awesome to see, and it, it just it lets you know that you know it's not it's not an impossible task. Well, Julian, uh, we appreciate it. Uh, could you coming on? It's been a couple minutes with us here on Football Friday. Good luck as you get ready for Baltimore, and we hope to see you too at uh, Penn State's Pro Day coming up in March. Thanks, Julian. Thank you. Again, that was former Clary defensive end, outside linebacker Julian Hauser joining us here on the phone here on Football Friday.